Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome back to Forever Stranded. Hope you guys are doing good today. I am doing great. So I've been doing a little bit of stuff out here on the building. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to work on it a lot because of my job, but I have gotten a little bit of stuff done. I've kind of built up on the outer edge here and shortened back these platforms. And I have also set up inside of this a little bit of a cactus farm and that stupid witch, I tell you. So just a simple vanilla style cactus farm. If I can get up here and we can look at it because yeah, the witch poisoned me. Great. So yeah, let's eat something here. There we go. So yeah, I've just got cactus set up on snad. So it grows a bit faster and then uh, got some glass panes in between the cactus just to break them. That is falling down below here. The water collects it up and puts, oh, puts it in here. So a little bit ago we didn't really have any cactus in there. Now we're up to a stack plus 20. Eh, not too bad. So we're gaining a little bit of cactus there. That is really nice. Now, one thing that I have been looking at is that we have been using tons of, wow, okay. So we have been using tons and tons of sand to build this in the form of all of the concrete. So I need to go out and get some more sand out of the quarry. The only problem with that is that, uh, yeah, we don't have enough of these building backpacks. So, or digging backpacks. So if we look there, we've got two of them. That's not gonna go very far. So I have to constantly be stopping and resetting my bags so that I can dig further. And I'd really like to get more of those bags. Now, the thing is, is the way I've been getting string and wool has been to infest some trees. Now this does give a lot of string and wool, but I just feel like there's more ways to do this here. So what I want to look at is these uh, flax from actually additions. Now to grow these, it is going to take a bit of fertilizer, but that's fine. I think we can live with that. And I also need to drink some water. So the fertilizer, we've been getting quite a bit of the appetite. Now granted, I have been using a bunch of it here lately. I quickly grew a bunch of carrots and potatoes because I just can't seem to get them to stay alive. I'm sure there are ways to keep them alive. I think uh, probably has something to do with the, the tough as nails stuff, but I just haven't messed with it. But yes, I have used a lot of the appetite. We have been sieving pretty much all of the gravel that we've been getting. We're down to just slightly over one stack of gravel. And also my cobble gen, or my, well, my cobble storage had run out, and so we weren't making more gravel. So I might put a cobblestone generator above this hopper instead of having a storage crate here, or a better, whatever, a, a storage drawer. And then it will constantly be running cobblestone through this hammer. And wow, that was slow. Now also, I have not been able to figure out what we're supposed to use for the hammers here. I would imagine it's probably gotta be uh, diamond hammers but also we might be able to look at let's just look at that real quick so we might be able to make the auto compressed hammer here pretty soon so that is going to take a compressed diamond hammer and then steel and I'm not sure what the best way to get steel here is going to be so immersive engineering I know how we would get it there I see two and uh, thermal foundation. Yeah, so thermal foundation may be one of the easier ones. Okay, so an alloy smelter can make it. So that's steel blend. Okay, so that, nope, that's not gonna work. So let's take a look at induction smelter. This is the one that I would want. So we would want an induction smelter, some iron and some charcoal dust or pulverized charcoal. So yeah, that would work. Now the question becomes, how do we get this? So we can use a sag mill or a pulverizer or even a quartz grindstone, okay. So really we wouldn't have to go terribly deep to get that going. I feel like I'd like to get that auto compressed hammer because then we could have our cobble gin dumping into a compressing drawer 
and we could be running a lot faster through the gravel because also not only have we been using a lot of sand for all of this concrete we've been using a lot of gravel as well and i will say that this little machine here has proved itself invaluable in this just with the auto placer and the block breaker i do occasionally lose a block you know it breaks it and the new block gets placed in and the the one that was broken pops out before the hopper picks it up and so i do occasionally lose a block but that's no big deal but yes so anyway back to what i was looking at fertilizer and uh flax so i want to see for sure because flax always used to be a very good way to get string so i think i'm just going to make eight stacks first and we'll go from there so um we have one too many there anyway but you can see my uh my sand stores are definitely dropping so we need a lot more sand we also might look at the possibility of upgrading that sand so let's grab our flax and our fertilizer so now if we put this here okay good we can grow that we're getting lots of seeds so the question becomes do we have any uses for these seeds okay we can make forestry seed oil with them of course the phytogenic isol or insulator i have been looking at that for a bunch of stuff and i don't think we're quite ready for that we would need to get at least phytogrow which phytogrow is not yeah we 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 don't have slag so we we're not quite ready for that and then in the squeezer we can also get oil now this oil i believe we can yeah we'll be we'll be getting into the oil here eventually but we should be able to make some okay that's interesting so we can actually attract bees i guess with that that's kind of neat because yeah right now we don't have anything for bees but yes we are getting string from this we'll be able to turn this into wool and make ourselves a whole bunch more backpacks and wow my frame rate is not doing great right now so yeah i am going to get a whole bunch of these backpacks made head out to my sand quarry get a whole bunch of sand i've just been trying to get that entire uh area cleared off where we had the oh i might want to kill these guys before the daylight kills them but i have been trying to get that entire dungeon area cleared off so that we can work on getting that here soon be nice if those guys would fall in here and i'm also going to leave this uh flax here because i don't know for sure if the flax is affected by uh the weather stuff so i guess we'll find out and by the way also that weather deflector must be right because i have not had any sandstorms go through the area since i set it up so yeah might have to make a few more of those because it wasn't overly expensive so i will get a bunch of stuff done and i'll see you guys in a little bit so i have been doing a little bit of stuff here to try to help out the hammer which by the way i did make a couple of diamond hammers for our auto hammer and it is breaking things a lot faster but it just it can't keep up especially now that we have to run with uh all of our ore pieces as well because we actually filled up on the iron ore pieces from the gravel so i've been running some of the iron stuff so i made some iron ore gravel and i've got that running through the hammer right now but so i was over here making some well i made some compressed cobble and then i'm running a compressed hammer here to smash that and make things into gravel but one of the issues that i always have when i do this is items go flying all over the place and i'm pretty sure that when we finish this up here we will see a whole bunch of stuff on the ground out here yes so there's a stack there a stack there that might be it you know there's not a lot of them at the moment but i oh there's some over there so yeah there's always this stuff that goes flying around and i don't seem to get it so i'd like to make 
a magnet. And we have the stuff to do that now, but before we do, let's go ahead and drop all of this off in there. So we're up to 18 stacks of gravel in here again. And you can see, like I said, we've got three hammers in there now because I've thrown in two diamond hammers to go along with it. And then also we can now replace that with this. And there we go. So I'll drop off these hammers again. I've had these uh, compressed stone hammers for a little while. But we do have a magnet here from Actually Editions. Now I believe we can charge this thing in our uh no 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 in this in our capacitor bank because there is the ability to charge things in here i'm hoping that we can but this thing's not terribly expensive anymore because we need some restonia crystal we need some inori crystal and a ring and that ring is really really cheap now the restonia crystal we already have some of that that is putting redstone in front of the uh atomic disassembler the inori crystal is iron ingots in front of this so let's go ahead and hop up here real quick and we will drop these off in front of there and there we go there's our inori crystals so yes that's very very simple to get and if this thing works that is going to be so handy so we need our two restonia crystals we need some iron we need some gold and we need some glowstone which we should have some right there so let's go ahead and get this made up should have everything now so make the ring first and then the ring of oh we are missing a couple of pieces of lapis there we go so now we should be able to make that and there we go we get our ring of magnetization or magnetizing whatever so let's pop out here and see can we charge this thing in here yes we can very very nice all right so now, if we put this onto our character, what is going to happen? Man, that thing holds a lot of power. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put this here. Do we need this in our baubles menu? Let's go ahead and get this over here. Um, no, nope, doesn't look... Oh, we can put it in our offhand. Um, no, so in general, it seems like... Oh, <laughs> yep. I would say that is working. We are picking up all of the stuff. Okay. Yeah, we are definitely picking up all of the stuff now. <laughs> oh, that is actually really nice. That is very handy. I have been looking for something to be able to pick up items for quite some time. So that is really, really handy. So now if we come over here, yeah, we'll pick up that sapling. You know, any any items that are just kind of floating around, we can probably pick up some uh, rotten flesh here, no. But now we can kill these guys from up here and pick all of their items up. That's actually kind of handy. Yeah, very nice. So yep, we have a magnet now. Now, I don't know how much power that thing is taking, but uh, obviously it needs a huge amount of charge. And our coal generators are going to be hitting the top end of what they can produce here very, very soon. So, yeah. May have to look at some additional power here soon. But we got a lot of goodies from just that little quick time period of putting stuff together. So, yeah guess I will uh, move this stuff to where it needs to be still gotta head out I have not been out to start digging any sand yet so I brought back a substantial amount of sand this cache is completely full and a bunch of our digging backpacks are still full as well so if we look at the map here yeah we've uncovered a large area here surprisingly this is all marble so yeah we may actually be able to get a decent amount of marble but that is not what we're looking at right now you gotta love the look of my squid farm and by the way squid farm i have used tons and tons of squid ink and i still have a lot i every time that i go out there to get sand i come back with something like 10 or 12 stacks of ink sacks 
So yes, everything seems to be working very good here. I have uh, been going through and crafting up a whole bunch of the uh, ore chunks into their respective parts. So like we'll take this crushed ore sand, turn it into uh, the copper sand and then add that to the, the queue here. So we've got tin is what's up next and then the copper sand to be going through. We actually overfilled on both iron and aluminum. So I've completely run them through. They are in here getting ready to be smelted. And you can see there is a lot of iron and aluminum there. We've already run a couple of stacks of aluminum or iron through. So yes, that's not gonna be too much of an issue. We need to start working on getting some of that automated though. And that's part of what I am hoping to be doing with our building over here. I don't even know what to call it. It's not really a, I, I don't know. It, it's, it's just a big building. But yes, we will be dedicating individual floors to various things, you know, like we'll have uh, cobblestone generation and crushing on one floor and then uh, sieving and things like that on another store, store floor, whatever. But uh, yeah, that each floor is going to be dedicated to a different type of process. And, and to be honest, there's going to be a lot of floors. So we don't have to worry about that. Also, yes, chickens, lots and lots of chickens. So I took all of the eggs that were in here and uh, broke them all in there. Uh, we have a lot of chickens. Uh, killed all the chickens that we had, and so we have a lot of chicken. Yes, everything's going really good on that front. Also, I do have these infested leaves because with all the sieving we've been doing, We've been getting a, a high need for the silk meshes so before I went out to get sand this crate was filled to this point so yes the silk mesh is kind of getting to be an issue I don't know if we could maybe go to iron meshes you know they have a slightly higher use but they also are a lot more expensive to make I don't know we'll have to do some thinking about that but I was trying to decide what I wanted to do next, and I realized we have not worked on any quest stuff for quite some time. And I gotta try to figure out where even did I put my little quest thing. I, I have no idea. Thankfully, oh, there it is. But thankfully, you can press the tilde button, the, the button above tab and next to one, and that will pull up the, the quest thing as well. So. You know, we have our basic survival, and we're still waiting on this stews. So on this, we still needed to make the hearty stew and the mushroom stew. Now, the mushroom stew we can do right now, I believe. Or maybe we can't. Let's see here. No, we do not have brown mushrooms yet. So let's see if we can get some brown mushrooms. Let's go ahead and grab some spores. I don't know how many we'll need, but we'll grab a few. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of sand and appetite so that we can make some fertilizer and let's head out here and see if we can get ourselves a brown mushroom now last time we got a red mushroom got a red mushroom again red mushroom come on give me a brown mushroom are these positional okay there's a brown mushroom so let's go ahead and remove these grab our brown mushroom we're going to grow the brown mushroom so that we can get a bunch of this stuff back Please tell me you're gonna grow. Um, let's go ahead and grab a bucket. Pick up that witch, or actually we'll grab a piece of sand and turn that witch water into soul sand. Then we'll get rid of that and maybe that'll aid in the mushroom growing. There we go. Well, I don't know if that made any difference, but uh, we did manage to get it grown. So now we'll go ahead and break all of this out and man this is breaking a lot slower than I anticipated I was expecting uh, instamine yeah whatever but yes we should be able to get some brown mushrooms from this and most likely one of the rooms in the tower over here will be dedicated to something like this with like mushroom production 
you know, whatever. So we got eight mushrooms out of that. That should be a great deal, plenty for now. And I'm willing to bet that that is a positional thing. So if I grow here, get no. So we were just really unlucky on getting a brown mushroom. We got lots and lots of red mushrooms before we finally got a brown one. So now we need some bowls and we just need to take our bowls, mushrooms, and put it together and there we go, mushroom stew. I'm not gonna make more than one because yeah, quite frankly, I don't want to. So we'll go ahead and drop this off in here. And now we need to go to the hearty stew. Um, do I have to manually detect that? I mean, I very definitely just crafted that. Um, is there a different mushroom stew that I'm not knowing about? Well, let's take a look. Mushroom. So no, there is only one mushroom stew. I guess we could have made it even without the brown mushrooms. Well, okay. Then let's grab out our bowls and some white mushrooms from Pam's Harvest Craft and a little bit more there. We'll just see. I, I can't hardly believe this is going to make any difference. But we'll make a bunch of mushroom stew. Okay, now it finally says that we made the mushroom stew. Uh, I have no idea. But we'll go ahead and drop this in here. We'll, we'll slowly use it. And we'll drop this in here. So there we go. Got all that cleaned up. Oh, water. Water, 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 water. Where, there's my water bottles. My butter waddles. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so now, next up, we need to get that uh, hearty stew. So if we look up hearty, so for this, we need a cauldron. Well, a cauldron, we need a bucket of water, a bone, and either copper or iron. So I think we'll go ahead and use some of this copper. So we needed seven bits of copper, we need a water bucket, and we need a bone. So we'll go ahead and grab a bone. There we go. So this should take care of all of that. And there we go. We have a cauldron. Now this is just a regular cauldron, so I don't think that we need it to be stoked or anything. But I am assuming that we need some fire underneath it. So what we'll do right now is we will punch that out. We will come in here and we'll grab a bit of redstone. And we should have tons of lava available. Oh, we're going to need a bucket. Oh, we have a bucket. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put this in there and get ourselves a little bit of netherrack. That way we can fuel this, I hope. So there's that. Now we'll need a flint and steel. I don't think we've made one of those yet. So we'll grab an iron and a flint. And there we go, flint and steel. Um, go ahead and head out here, place the netherrack underneath here, light that on fire, and hopefully that's what we need. So we've got our cauldron. All right, next up, we need some cooked rabbit or some type of cooked meat. I'm pretty sure we've got some. We need a carrot, a baked potato, three brown mushrooms, and some flour, as well as five bowls. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Okay, we've got some cooked chicken. We have some cooked steak, too. We have a carrot. Uh, baked potatoes are going to be in here. Then we need three brown mushrooms. And five bowls. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and drop this off in there. Uh, that's not quite going to make enough. So we'll go ahead and grab a little bit more here. All right. So that makes four. And there we go. So now we should be able to just drop the items in here. So we'll put all of those in there. Are we missing something? Flour. Okay. Yeah, so we'll go grab some flour. I think we actually have some of that made. Uh, maybe we don't. Okay, so we'll just make one little bit of flour. 
and this should finish up this one so we put this in here okay and it it shows that it's doing something i hope it's gonna make our hearty stew i hope Come on, be a thing. It made chicken soup. No, that's not what you were supposed to do. Uh, okay, well, let's try this again. So, chicken soup actually eh, not a not a horrible food. So we need our carrot, our baked potato, some cooked meat, and baked potato all right so if we put everything in except for the bowls um, I guess I hope that this works this time says in a cauldron meat carrot baked potato bowls mushroom flour guess we might be eating some odd stews for a while I don't know come on make some hearty stew it made chicken soup again what am I doing wrong here yeah I can use Pam's harvest craft flour carrot baked potato Okay, well, let's take a look at the uses on the cauldron. So, you know, we got a whole bunch of stuff. This bark, I actually, actually found that accidentally. If you right-click on a log with an axe, it gives you the bark. But, uh, okay. So, three bowls, chicken, carrot, baked potato. Okay, so how do we ensure that it doesn't... That... That seems like a horrible oversight. How do we get the hearty stew then? Hmm. Well, we're going to have to make some more bowls again. Well, let me see if I can figure out how I'm supposed to be doing this because obviously I've got something that isn't right. And I will be back in a little bit. Well, I finally got my hearty stew. What I had to do was not use chicken. So... <laughs> Yeah, I ended up having to use the beef. That's fine. I can live with that. But we ended up with quite a bit of chicken soup. So I guess we've got chicken soup. So let's go ahead and see what we get from this. So we have a choice reward here. 10 rabbit stew, 10 meaty stew, two golden apples or a loot chest. Well, we're definitely taking the loot chest. The rest of that's not all that big of a deal anymore. So let's go ahead and see what we got out of that. Ooh, a sag mill, a mob factory spawner grinder, and a vacuum. Oh my. Yes, that is definitely legendary. That was definitely worth taking the loot chest. Oh my god, we have a sag mill. We can now grind things up. Oh god, where do we want to put this thing? Um, let's see, do we have a spot in here somewhere? Uh, we, we could remove that, but that means, that actually means we're, we're out of room for quartz dust. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'll have to do some thinking about that. Maybe we'll have to get a location for that because the sag mill in, you know, actually let's, let's go ahead and grab this guy. And I believe we can place the sag mill in its place. So we'll go ahead and place this here. We will configure this to where we're input on this side or pull and uh, push on that side. Um, will it not accept? Oh, poo. Okay, so that will not accept the, uh, will not accept the ores, but we could use this very definitely to grind up cobble into gravel. So I will probably be setting it up for that. But yes, that was amazing. That just absolutely incredible 
incredible loot there that vacuum chest that is wow okay so let's go ahead and drop some things off here um grab a little bit of water while we're at it why not because uh yeah i mean we've got a little bit of space in our chest that has water in it so now let's see what we've got next so we are getting very close to the end of the quest lines here on the basic survival so next up we have regulator Moving on from the cooling coils, this machine will work in a larger, in a lager, in a larger area of effect. Will also need to be powered. Oh, oh, oh. Well, temperature regulator. Okay, and, okay. We have a choice of three loot chests. And, okay, well, whatever. And this will get us into uh extra utilities stuff nice okay so regulator let's go ahead and see what we've got regulator so let's see what we've got here so okay we need three cooling co three heating coils oh no iron generators oh, okay well that's not horribly bad and an advanced circuit from IC2. Oh, we've got a whole bunch of stuff that we've got to do before we can get into this. We need to get, we need to get rubber trees. Um, okay, well, let's take a look at rubber. So the rubber tree sapling blacksmith. Oh no. Um, can we buy a rubber sapling from, let's go ahead and we'll just grab a whole stack can we buy a rubber sapling from the pam's harvest craft craft market i know we can buy a lot whoop what was what, that was a spruce i know we can buy a lot of stuff here um come on rubber tree sapling Uh, I'm not liking my chances anymore. Um, nope. Darn it. Well, it was worth checking. That's unfortunate. So, yeah, the rubber tree sapling. Dungeon chests. And a blacksmith. I, I... So we have to find a village? Is that what that means? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait, wait, oh. Ex Nihilo. We don't have one. Okay. Well, we've got tons of dirt. So, um, let's go ahead and make some compressed dirt. Let's see if we can get ourselves a rubber tree sapling because we happen to have our heavy oak sieve still here and there it is all right well we'll just go ahead and sieve all of this we've got tons and tons of uh dirt and we just keep getting more and more because the yeah killing the husks and Zombies gives us tons of rotten flesh. So yeah, that's giving us quite a bit of stuff, actually. You know, I think we're just going to stop on this. Go ahead and throw the rest of that in there, and all of this in there. So now the other question is, did we... Okay, we have enough large acorns now to actually get a dark oak going. And we've got a couple of exotic sap or seeds too, so we could get some spruce going. Why do we have a carrot in there? Oh, I think that was as an emergency backup, but we've got carrot seeds. So, don't need to worry about that. But we now have our rubber sapling. So, I hope that turns, a rubber seed, I hope that turns into the appropriate sapling. Let's go ahead and grab a stack of that two stacks of that I find it really hard to believe that we won't get 
our tree to grow here, but we can always use the fertilizer. So let's go ahead and get out here and let's go right here. Okay, so yes, that did give us an IC2 sapling and it immediately grows. Let's go ahead and grab a pair of, actually not a, I don't want a shear, I want a crook. So we're gonna crook these leaves off of the tree and hope to get another sapling. Maybe? Okay, yes, we did get another sapling. Looks like we got another one. So, saplings, we're getting saplings. And so now we have, it looks like just one spot of rubber on this tree. Oh, that's horrible. But we did get six more rubber tree saplings and another silkworm of all things. So let's go ahead and grab a little bit of wood here. And wow, my mouse really slowed down, must have bumped the, the speed button. Okay, so let's go ahead and make up a bunch of sticks. I think it's sticks. Let's, let's take a look at the faucet. I think it's the faucet. No? Okay, uh, let's look at uh, IC2. So what is, it's a tree tap, that's what it is. It is a tap. Okay, the tree tap. Okay, that takes planks. I don't know why I thought that took sticks. No, that takes planks. So we'll go ahead and make ourselves up. Okay, well, let's try this again. There we go. All right, so we've got a whole bunch of tree taps. I know I probably didn't need to make all of those, but that's fine. And then we come out here. Oh, that could be an issue too. We need to, uh, ooh, sticky situation. So we've got that. I don't know if there is some way that we can move this log. I don't know. Um, one thing that I will do though is to remove every log outside of that spot. Can I break you? So I don't know if we have any way that we can move logs or not. Oh, I got my diamond hammers out when I, yeah. Let me put those back in there. That'll speed things up a little. And then also we'll be able to pick up this stuff. So I wanna see if there is any way to move this guy and we need a torch because there is a spawnable space on top of that now. Oh, there they are. So, yeah, I suppose I'm going to check and see. I'm pretty sure we are past time on the episode, but I'm going to double check that. And I will also check and see if there is any apparent way to move blocks so that we could maybe move our logs with rubber sap around or the sticky resin. So I am sure this is going to fail, but... This is about the only thing that I could find. I couldn't find anything that could move blocks that was obvious anyway. So if I try to move this with a piston, it won't move. Yep. So, yeah, that's kind of a thing. So, I guess we apparently can't move that block. And that's fine. I guess we can deal with it. But... Yes, I am way over time on the episode, so I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to give a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any thoughts about what I've been working on or anything that I could do, uh, be sure to leave that down in the comments. If you have any ideas on moving that block, let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!